can take a seat right there on the couch. Uh, listen, I wanted to thank you for coming in today. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, did you have any problems with finding the tools? Uh, yeah, I did. I had a little problem with the woodchuck. Zoomed right out in front of the car. <laughs> I have a ton of experience uh, using different kinds of vegetables. Uh, I think you called it vegetation in your ad. What attracted me initially was the team management aspect. I got a lot of leadership experience. A lot of experience working with kids, too. <laughs> Funny story, though. So this one time I was babysitting a kid, uh, five or six, um, and I just got so distracted by the elephant. Next thing I know, I turn around, the kid's completely gone. Vanished. I mean, I, I mean, I never found him. I, I think that the, um, I believe the, the police officer found him and, and brought him back to his mother. Um, but I, I found that out from a friend of a friend. I'm not actually, the, I was actually terminated. Yes. I do think I'm the best fit for the position. Okay, look. People are tired, right? They get frustrated. They don't want to cook. They start to fight amongst themselves. And then they come to me. I do the prep. Obviously, I don't personally do the prep. The sous chef is the one doing the prep. I make the tiramisu, right? I am the hero every day. Or a time when you felt heroic, um, for example, that you saved somebody's life. My hamster. You saved your hamster's life? Um. Uh, no. <laughs> He's my hero. Love him. Softball. I like that. Okay, yeah. Well, my great aunt Car Carla was always really important in my life, especially around Christmas time. Um, <clears throat> because my family never had a lot of money. Um, which it is what it is. It is what it is. But, you know, for us kids, it was always really hard. Um, and, you know, because, yeah, it is for kids. Everyone's talking about their P43s. You're sitting there with your rag doll. So, but Carla, yeah. Carla, great, great lady. Always kept our stockings, really, so. Okay. And, and how would you relate that to um, our field? I really don't see that being a problem. There's generally plenty of people who can haul the pig. I'm talking in terms of hauling firewood and that sort of thing. I would be feeding people in this position, correct? How are your skills with construction? No. Do you guys do like shelter building? Sure, or raft. Raft building with the kids? Yeah, sometimes there's kids. Uh, well, y you know, hi, I would say. I mean, I can build a raft. Traveling is a huge part of this position. How do you feel about that? How comfortable are you with it? Y yes. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed chatting mm -hmm. with you. I do just want to let you know kind of right off the bat that I don't think you're exactly what we're looking for. Um, I'm really, not. No, just, just really based on your um, lack of experience with the jungle and kind of Africa's landscape in general. Africa? Yeah. <sighs> well, you sh I mean, you should have said something. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I have been to India. It's my fault, I guess. My fault. I don't think that you're the best suited for the position. <laughs> you know, all the bushwhacking. We do have to move forward with the African safari within uh, the next few weeks here. Uh -huh. So, um, we will be giving you 
a call within the next couple of days, and we're very excited to have that conversation with you. <sighs> <sighs>